follow YouTube, sort of long time no see. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a busy thing, but I thought because tomorrow is literally going to be a month since I moved into Beach Court, and today, which is Sunday the sixth of October, is a month to the day that I was travelling up the M6 with my father to move in to the uh, University of Stirling. Um, I figured I would do a sort of chatty, sort of catch up my month so far, um, coupled with like my September favourites, coupled with a get ready with me. Um, just, you know, I don't know how long this is going to be, hopefully it won't be too long. Oh yeah, because um, I know a few people, especially Lucy, hi Lucy, I know you are probably hopefully watching this, wanted to know like how I did uh, my sort of everyday makeup that I was wearing in my outfit of the day video uh, that I uploaded last week, I think it was last week, so yeah, three birds, one stone. So, uh, I'm just going to take my glasses off, and now I can't see, but we're going to get going, so I'm going to get my hair out of the way by using my amazing Spooky Box Club, like, spoilt bat. It helps if I could show you it the right way. There we go. Make up uh, hair out of the way. Hopefully it's not going to be so too bad because I've just washed it and uh, I desperately need to dye it again. So yeah, um, it's been a month that I've been living in Scotland. Um, just using this collection primed and ready. It's, it's like illuminating which I normally don't like, but I don't actually think it's too bad. Um, yeah, been a month. Obviously I've been in my actual accommodation for just over half of that maybe, uh, just under half, I'm not sure, but yeah, I haven't been in my actual flat for the whole time, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, it's been really, really good. Um, we're coming into week, God, week five of my course. That's insane. Um, and I'm really enjoying it though. Like, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying sort of getting back into actually um, studying and stuff again. Like, I know that makes me sound ridiculous, but I'm really enjoying studying and, you know, going to the library and looking up books and, you know, doing all that sort of stuff. Um, I am a bit of a geek you know so that makes sense but yeah I'm really really enjoying it and I've got my first two things planned pretty much so I'm gonna start working on them uh, this week I've also got a presentation that I need to finish so today that's gonna be the priority for today is getting my presentation sorted and then I'm meeting up with my sort of presentation partner tomorrow to actually do it um, and like actually put it together and work on it and how we're going to present it, you know, who's saying what. So that'll be fine. Um, and I'm feeling okay about it. We're talking about, you don't, probably don't want to know, but we're talking about like the uncanny and the abject and double um, in Gothic. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling fine about that. I think we're going to be okay. Um, and then after that, the next thing I've got to think about is, well I have three things really, but like the most pressing things are my first assignment for my course, um, like the first written one because obviously the presentation is part of it, I'm just going to give myself a bit of spray. Yeah, um, and I've pretty much think I know what I'm going to write about and like how I'm going to go about it which is cool um and then I've also got obviously the paper that I'm going to be presenting at the conference this is like my first proper official like academic conference paper just gonna have some on my tea like 6.99 in Clinton's by the way yeah um What was I saying? Yeah, my first proper academic conference paper, which is like kind of terrifying to think about. 
but at the same time like I'm so proud of myself for going for it because like the whole reason that I took this risk and made this jump to come in here um, and doing this master's course and like basically giving up or putting my proper career on hold was because I want to try my hand at the academia thing um, and so the fact that I'm, you know, I've, I've embraced it and I'm going for it and I'm making a massive jump into trying to do my first, like, conference, um, I'm proud of myself, man. Um, I just really hope that it goes well because that's what I want to do. Okay, uh, quick, thin, like, stop. I just used my, um, Focus and Fix Eye Primer from Revolution and this is the first of my, like, favourite products. So I... I treated myself, I shouldn't have done. It was bad, but it's been worth it. I treat myself to the Revolution Haunted House palette, which is from like their Halloween collection this year. Um, and I mean, it's got colors that I've kind of got in other palettes, but I just love it. And look at those colors. Look, they're so good. They don't quite look, they look a lot brighter, some of them are um, on camera than they are, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just literally pretty casual I'm gonna use this one here which is uh, phantom first then decrepit and petrify I'm gonna use those three to do a kind of like natural ish it's not natural but you know what I mean like everyday look so I'm gonna take phantom is it phantom I use or is it creepy I'm gonna use creepy actually which is slightly like darker than phantom I'm gonna have to use the mirror in this palette for that I'm gonna put that all over my lid And I know it's a shimmer shade, but don't care. All over the lid. Lid, 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 lid. Okay. Now, even though it isn't actually the darkest colour, I'm going to take Decrepit and put it like into my crease and the outer corner with a sort of smaller fluffy brush. So it's still a fluffy brush. But it's a smaller one. Sorry, once I've done the eye makeup, like the eyeshadow, I'll get back to chatting. Rubbish. <laughs> I'm just going to get a little bit underneath as well. Just a tad. Ooh. And then, on another small fluffy brush, I'm gonna take Petrify and kind of just go over where I've put Decrepit, just to warm it up a little bit. Kind of almost a healthy blend. And then I'm going to take, this is the eye crease and contour brush from Primark. This thing is fab. So you just want a, like a really fluffy, bigger brush to just blend, really. Blendy blend. Just sort of take out the harshness of the edges and make sure all those transitions are lovely. There we go. It looks much better in real life than it does on this camera, trust me. Um, obviously I don't have my lights set up because I am a lazy person. So yeah, that's the first of my favourites for September. God. Um, I'm going to do my eyeliner really quickly. Um, I can't do it, but like it takes a long time. So I'll, I'll cut this out and then I'll be back with my eyeliner done. As is standard. I struggled to do my eyeliner so it's now really thick but you know what I don't care uh, this is my like standard old favorite eyeliner that I use all the time makeup revolution renaissance flip this stuff is the bomb because look it's like black AF it lasts a day and it's super easy to use so that stuff's great um using my gosh eyebrow pencil so yeah um I'm doing that I've got all those things to come I've also got to write a 
3,000 words that like split across three um, 1,000 word small bits. Blog series, so like a series of blog posts for one of my courses, which I think is really cool. Um, because, you know, that is a big part of modern day academia, is like blogging and the um, department that I'm at and the, sort of the Gothic Studies course, they maintain a blog. Um, so the idea is it's like a, how we're, ass how we're assessed on that um, module, but also like any of our blog posts that are good enough will like get actually hosted on the, the website, on the actual blog of the course, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Just go over that with my gush over on the scar, just to set me on rule your brows. Um, and I've, I think I'm pretty much sure that I know what I'm gonna write my blog posts on. Um, I just need to go and sort of like, because the um, Gothic Studies model is like, last week and this next week coming up, we had someone slightly different from the actual tutor of the course, but the Gothic and Gender module, which is the other module that I have to write the blog post for, is kind of like collaboratively taught anyway by lots of different, uh, lots of the different academics from the department. So I need to go and sort of go to the person that did the uh, seminar of the text I wanna probably write on. I just need to sort of hop into her um, office hours to A, check that it's okay, and B, you know, get a bit more further reading recommendations. So yeah, I just dried my hair, um, which is why it looks fairly straight and good. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to put some lipstick, I'm not even going to put lipstick on or anything uh, because I wouldn't during my day to day. So I've got actually still got lots left to, to talk to you about. So let's finish my favourites. So I mentioned the palette and this is like a really mixed bag of favourites. And I really wanted to include the laundry detergent that I'm using because it smells amazing um but I thought that would just be a step too far so but I have got some non-beauty related things and actually the only piece of like makeup is this haunted house palette um well I remember when my favorites used to be just all makeup like seriously man I've grown up um so yeah um let's do the other beauty things so this is kind of they're both part of the same thing and that is my part of my new sort of like makeup removing cleansing routine and these two products are incredible so the first one is this vitamin e gentle eye makeup remover from superdrug because it's superdrug's own bland uh, own bland because it's superdrug's own brand it is cruelty free and suitable for vegans and this is just amazing so I use um some I use reusable cotton pads basically um so you just use them and then put them in a little bag and then you shove the bag in with your laundry to clean them again um so just put a little splodge of that on there and literally obviously as you can see I wear a lot of when I wear makeup I wear a lot of eyeliner and mascara like the mascara I use I could have put this in my favorites but meh. the mascara I use Currently, although I like to chop and change, um, although I really, really like this one, is the XXL Volume and Defy Mascara from NYX. So it's like really, really dark and heavy mascara. Um, and this just gets rid of it. And then after that, to clean my face and then get rid of any other traces of makeup, like if I've put face makeup on or anything, I use this, it's incredible. It's from Primark. It's the PX Naturals Balm to Oil Cleanser. And this is just, it's so good. It is vegan. And what's amazing is a lot of the Primark stuff now, I don't know if it's gonna, it's not gonna uh, focus, but it has, it's Leaping Bunny certified, which is awesome. And I literally just put a little bit of my fingers, rub it all over my face, and then use like a face cloth or a flannel or something to like a really just damp, not wet, damp flannel to like wipe it off. And then I'm squeaky clean and ready for the rest of my routine. So yeah, those two things are great. Now this, these next two things are a bit strange. First thing is black salt. This is just a grinder of Himalayan black salt. I'm pretty sure I picked up either Home Bargains or B&M 
with like a, in a three pack with two other kinds of salt that I didn't need because one was Himalayan pink salt. I don't know if you can see it. Sort of uh, there. See that pink thing? Ignore the gin. Next to the gin, then the water bottle. Then there, I've got a big thing of Himalayan pink salt anyway because I use that for cooking. So I love it. Um, and then like just normal sea salt, which I've got anyway. So yeah, I gave the other two to my dad and I took this and it is an absolute game changer. If you're a vegan and you want something to have like an eggy taste, I was a little bit skeptical, but I thought, you know what, it's cheap, I'm gonna try it. Oh my God, it, it tastes, it makes my scrambled tofu. It tastes like eggs, it's incredible. I'm even gonna try, cause obviously tofu is a bit expensive. It's not a dollar and I live in that student life. I don't have a lot of money. So um, I'm gonna try making like fried rice using like frozen veg and pre-cooked rice. And then I'm gonna put this in there to see if I can get it some of that egg fried rice thing. Um, yeah, it's really, really, really good. And then the sort of next sort of food related favorite. This is, again, I like, you wouldn't expect it. This is the peppermint tea with cocoa which is a bag of loose leaf tea and yeah it's from ikea okay and this stuff is a flavored mix of fruit and herbal infusion with peppermint and cocoa and it's loose leaf tea um so what has it got in it rose hip cocoa husks peppermint cocoa nibs licorice root roasted chicory root and then natural flavoring but yeah um this stuff is so so good like it it tastes like mint chocolate um, and it's tea, so it's like, doesn't have calories or fat. If you're worried about those sort of things. I either use, so I bought from, let me just go and get it. I bought this from Ikea, so I either use this, and it's a like, a for one person teapot. But you can see it's got like an infuser bit in it. Um, so you put the tea leaves in there, pour the hot water over the top and just leave it. Um, you can also use tea bags, I'm pretty sure, in here, but yeah. Um, so I either use that, or I've shown before on my channel when I uh, was ridiculous and bought, like, spent £60 on tea from Harrods. I also bought some, like, tea bags, filling, fill, fillable, like, tea bags for loose leaf tea. Um, so I either use that or those, and this is just, oh my god, it's incredible. This is such, such nice tea and it's good for like in the morning or at the end of the day if you want to like treat yourself this actually tastes really nice yeah i love this stuff so much i've got loads of like if you remember my um room tour if i just show you there you see my little like trolley thing so the top level is all it's all tea whether it's like hot tea or cold tea but um i'm trying to swap to loose leaf tea like moving forward because you know it's less waste and i know like this is made of like foil and plastic and stuff but it is recyclable and um, so yeah i just think it's it's better for the environment and probably cheaper actually um because it's, it's more expensive like for the initial overhead but then i don't know i don't know so yeah that is just amazing and if you go to ikea pick it up they also do a chai loose leaf chai blend which I also like, it's not my favourite, I have nicer chai that I picked up in uh, TK Maxx, but yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, that's another favourite. And then my last favourite thing, and this is also like part of my, what's coming next, my sort of life outside of uni. Uh, this is, I mean it's D&D, &D, no, in general, but this is a Dungeon Master's Guide. So, my one of my favourites from the month, and this is really one of my favourites from like summer, is D&D. &D. I got back into playing D&D &D, um, over the summer when I was still at home. I played with a group at Tabletop Republic, which is an amazing like gaming and roleplay sort of shop in High Wycombe. So if you need like, they do tabletop like wargaming as well, but if you need anything, go there. They're really nice. Um, so I played there and I played my rogue who's called Nimi and she is like one of my absolute favorite things ever and I miss I miss playing Nimi so much but I don't feel like I can play her outside of that campaign because she's like so she's a long-standing character I've had Nimi as a character for like 15 years okay um and this is like 
for the first time I played her in a long time so because of that I don't feel like I can play her outside of that environment um yeah and um when I got to Sterling obviously I joined Hussars which is the uh role playing society here and I've done some D&D there which is really fun and I also with um, Mama Goth and Suitably Sinister and other people we also play D&D via discord we've only had one session we've only had like session zero to start off with but um i'm really fingers crossed we're gonna play this week because i'm so excited um yeah so i've really got back into dnd and i absolutely love it and i actually specifically picked the dungeon master's guide to show you in my favorites because tomorrow on our monday sessions i'm gonna be dming for the first time ever like properly dming um, and so DMing, that's like Dungeon Master, so that's the person that like runs the session. So you're like the narrator and you like, you play all the bad guys and the NPCs and stuff. Um, and you like guide the party through the story. So that's what I'm doing. And I might make a video, if anyone's interested, let me know. But I might make a video of like tips from a first time DM if you want to try and do your own campaign I guess um which you know it, how I went about it my process and what I've come up with so if you're interested in that let me know down below because I will happily do that um and I love it like it's so much fun and because I am you know I'm a performer I used to act um a lot and I'm a writer as well it kind of like combines all those things um and it's nerdy which is great so yeah um that's coming up um, Throne of Eldraine, which is the latest Magic the Gathering set, has just dropped. I went to the pre-release. I didn't do great, but I didn't lose, which is, you know, the main thing. I didn't come last. So that's coming up. And really excitingly, on Friday, I had my first radio show. So I have a show. I'll link the website down below on the University of Stirling radio station, which is Air 3 Radio. And I have my first show, which is 11 till 1 sort of lunchtime slot. Um, UK time and I play lots of goth music and I have requests and I have little features and I'm actually doing a giveaway on my radio show so when they come I will do a, an exclusive sneak peek of what I'm giving away on my YouTube because why not um, so that's really exciting so if you are free sort of 11 to 1 lunchtime on a Friday um, please do listen in because like I said I'll play your requests and it's great fun and it went really really well so I don't know what else I can say. I think that's pretty much it for how my month has gone and what I've got in the immediate future. Um, I just feel so settled here, which is great. Like I was really, I've said a lot of time on my channel, I was really, 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 really worried about moving so far away. But like, I remember that my friend, Hannah, she lives in Edinburgh and I have family in Glasgow and actually like I was supposed to meet up with one of my cousins but her husband was ill so you know I have to put a rain check on it but yeah I feel so settled and Stirling is such a lovely place and I'm enjoying my course so much and it obviously is early days but at the moment I think that this risk and leap that I've taken has has really it, it's it's been the right thing to do so i mean when when it's christmas time and i can't afford to buy people presents and so i'm sad maybe i'll think differently <laughs> but yeah at the moment this is like the best thing ever so i'm gonna end this video now because i've like been talking for nearly half an hour and yeah thank you very 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 much for watching this video and just general the support i've like had a few more um subscribers which is great thank you so much and welcome to the people that have subscribed in the last month or so um i'm hoping to hit 250 to 300 subs by november if not like christmas so yeah uh thank you very much please remember to subscribe down below if you're not already uh hit hit the like button because it helps and leave me a comment because i love speaking to people i love interacting with you guys so yeah thank you very much and i'll see you in my next video